Hello everybody, Nell here from The Four Corners. Welcome to a video clearing a lot of confusion because people are looking at that brand new 2022 Ninjago wave and thinking this doesn't really continue off Seabond in any way and people are expecting this wave to be something it's not. They're expecting it to be a continuation to Seabound and some epic Vengestone sets but that's not really what this wave is doing and we can clear all that confusion thanks to a Ninjago designer who goes by the alias Tooth Dominoes on Twitter. He's designed sets most recently like the Hydro Bounty and Hydro Mech and I gotta say he did a fantastic job with the Hydro Mech. It's so fun especially for a mech and you know mechs tend to not be as fun as you know a car or a jet. But anyways he's released a article about this whole January 1st 2022 wave telling us what this wave is supposed to be, why certain sets look a certain way. It's supposed to be the best Ninjago toys with no real story. And seriously check this thread or article out because it'll give you a whole new appreciation for the 2022 sets really knowing what their goal is. But one thing that stuck out to me in particular that we need to talk about today is a specific section in this article. So let me quote it real quick. So after the specialized launches like Prime, Empire, and Seabun, and what he's talking about here is, you know, usually typically Ninjago isn't making submarines and video game vehicles, the LEGO company asked for a wave with the classic Ninjago identity. So they're saying, you know, we want more general things that any kid can play with and you don't need to have watched Ninjago to really enjoy because, you know, things like the Hydro Bounty and things, it's very specific to the show. A normal kid would usually just want, you know, a car or, or dragon. We would not get any story continuing content in order to make sure we could get started on 2HY 2022, which means August 1st, 2022, as early as possible. Thus, Core was born. And Core is just another word for this Ninjago wave. It's called Core because this wave is based around all the typical stuff that Ninjago makes. They want to put it in this wave so that it represents all of Ninjago. But it's funny, when they try to be like everything they've been in the past, they end up being something completely unique and something we haven't seen before. But the good news I take from this is that the designers wanted extra time to work on the August 1st wave, which is supposed to go along with season 16 or whatever season comes after Seabond. So we can definitely expect something crazy for that season. It's not going to be a filler to the Vengestone plot or anything. It's something crazy will happen in that season and the sets are going to be epic as well. The bad news here is that we're not going to get a season this spring like we're supposed to. So season 16 is technically delayed or I guess it's not delayed if it was planned to release then anyway but it's not coming out soon. We are getting some shorts but they are not going to be connected to the story in any way. It's kind of like really good product animations just to spice up the sets a little and make you want to buy them a little more. So unless LEGO approved a Ninjago season that's not supposed to tie in with any sets then we're probably not gonna get a Ninjago season anytime soon and I'm saying that because there's no way LEGO is gonna make a Ninjago season that doesn't sell any sets. That breaks the whole Ninjago formula. I know we're getting sets in March as well but that's supposed to be with this core wave so you know I think we can throw out any idea of getting a season anytime soon but this does mean that when we do get a season it's gonna be epic and <laughs> I can't wait to see that and that also makes sense to why we're getting books like the Garmin on one early in 2022 it's to keep us busy but the really sad part about this is it means we're probably gonna go through another content drought I mean we're already suffering through a content drought where Seabound came out in April of 2021 this year and it has been pretty blank ever since then and it looks like it's gonna stay blank I know we have the sets in the middle but that's only gonna carry us for so long we need episodes so that is the situation right now it looks like the content trial is gonna go all the way till probably June July when the next August 1st seasons trailer and everything starts coming out it's kind of sad we've been waiting for season 16 for so long and now the wait continues but on the other side the product when it comes out is gonna be very very good that's all for this video looking at some sad and good news just depends on which angle you're looking from and make sure you check out that article again it'll seriously give you some new insight thank you for watching and as usual i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye.